Hi there and welcome back to Fallout 3. I happen to be Baron and you happen to watch my let's play. And we take the Nuka Cola. So yeah, Megaton, as the sign says, is somewhere in that direction, so we just follow the arrow. Yep, it's nice to show us the way, thank you. Oh yeah, that's what we saw when we took a look at the picture, you know, on the overseer's computer. Megaton, it says there. Hi, who are you? Please, do you have any water? so thirsty. Mickey? What is this place? Some kind of city? It's Megaton. Have you been living in a hole or something? Everyone's heard of Megaton. They have plenty of water in there, but they only give it to residents or people who can pay for it. Will any water do? I've been drinking this irradiated shit and I, I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water. Please. Fine. Here. Have this purified water. You, are you serious? I, I can't offer anything in exchange, you know. I, I can just have it. I can just have it? For free? I insist, my friend. It's the least I can do to help. Really? Seriously? My God. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll never forget this. I reckon you're still gonna die. To oh, a dead giant ant. What do we have here? Crow? Yes. A god and a Brahma. Hi, Crow. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. Well, actually, I did you find you. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. Hmm. Tell me about your trade, Caravan. My caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the body while it endures the ravages of the physical world. My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of this protection. After all, this is what they'll pay the most for. Hmm, you could also repair stuff for you. I'm here to buy. Have a look. Yep. See if anything calls out to you. Uh, not really. The stim packs would be nice, but... That's to rich from my blood. We could sell them things, I guess. But since all those police batons, we don't really need them. Go away. Don't need that. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. I'm gonna hang on to those, though. Okay. I take your money. Bye-bye. Another satisfied customer. Stay safe on the path you travel. I try my best. Head on in, partner. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. All right, partner. Thirsty, partner. Let's right. end some megaton. I'll be there. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Hmm. Nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Right, message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Mm, I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. I could use some directions around town. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? Where's the closest clinic? Our clinic is down in the crater, by the bomb. 
Doc Church is a little rough around the edges, <coughs> but the man's got talent and compassion. Hmm, is there a weapon stealer around here? You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Make some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Is there a barn town? Sure is. Moriorities. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your friend, no matter what he may say. So don't fall for his lies. And for God's sake, don't trust the man. Hmm, I need some equipment. Where's the nearest general store? Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Crater side supply. Take a guess where it is. <laughs> where can I rent a bed? Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. Sure thing. What's on your mind? Hmm, let's discuss this bomb. What about it? Hmm, don't you think someone should disarm that thing? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Hmm... I can't see about disarming that bomb for you. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. I don't need a reward. I couldn't sleep at night knowing you all could die. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Just don't... You know, go blowing us up. All right? Now that I'm helping you, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for my dad. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Hmm... Anything about the area outside Megaton? It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south, you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. Hmm, tell me more about your town. What do you want to know? Hmm, I think we already had that. Yep, he's a bit cranky, but he means well. Just make sure there's something actually wrong with you before you bother him. You'll find him down in the plaza, at the bottom of the hill, across the way from the Brass Lantern. Know where I can get a drink? Sure. Head over to Moriarty's for spirits. Or, if you want something to eat, head over to the Brass Lantern. Alright, shoot. Okay, let's go. Have a good one. And take a look at that bomb. It's the bomb! Yeah? You need something? Wait. No one's wasting water here. So, just in case you didn't notice, that is the bomb. And, every eye shall and here's what if you walk into it, you get irradiated. You lack the explosive skill needed to interact with the bomb. Explosive 25 or higher required. Every Boo! I don't like that. But if we would use Mantats, intelligence goes up, personality gets up. Our explosive skill gets, you know, raised, and we can attempt to disarm the bomb. And it worked! We have successfully disarmed the bomb! Death. Yay! I know there's the another quest too, we could blow it up, you know, or rig it to the blow man. up and then go to someone else. And he would blow it up, but I'm not the guy who would do that kind of thing. I'm not blowing innocent people up, so that's my choice. Guess what? I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. And all without asking for pay, too. Hell, why don't you move in? Here's the key and the deed to an empty house. Consider yourself a Megaton citizen. Oh, and talk with Moira at Craterside Supply. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. So I guess we got paid nevertheless. Fine. Later. And we level. 
19 skill points, I'm going to put them into repair. 75 is enough. And 83, 80, uh, no, 33, 83 would be awesome, no, 38 actually. Okay. Continue, and I want another intense training. And another point in agility. Thank you very much. Let's check out my home. Yeah, it actually may look like shit, but it is. Here we can store our bubble heads. Awesome, we only have one. This is Wadsworth, our personal butler. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Hmm, where can I buy more things for my place? Yes, I believe this place could do with a bit more in the way of decoration. Speak with Moira Brown at Craterside Supply here in Megaton. She has quite a selection of items to enhance your living space. I'd like something to drink. Certainly, sir. Here you are. Every now and then you get some purified water from him. And he could give you a haircut. Certainly. I am programmed with a multitude of hair shaping scenarios. If you would care to choose one, I would be happy to replicate it for you. So if you don't like your, the way you're looking, you can change that here. And tell me a joke. Photons have mass? I didn't even know they were Catholic. Huh. Hmm. That's a good one, actually. My humor emitter array requires recharging. Okay, then think of another joke. I'll be sure and tidy up while you're away, sir. That would be awesome. So, now we should repair some items, I guess. So, where is it? Oh yeah, it's if we wear the utility jumpsuit, our lockpick and repair is actually higher. Awesome, right? Um, a security helmet. That's the maximum, I guess. Let's leave again. Whoa. Wait. No, it doesn't matter. So let's check out the crater side supply. See? I equipped the gun. Ah, look at this! New blood! Tell me, boy. You ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. Now I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a Patriot, and any Patriot worth his salt is gonna toss his gun in for the Enclave. Any day now, they're gonna roll up here, and then this nightmare will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? Why do you support the Enclave? Why? Why? Look around you! This is the good old USA! Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil! 
And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. And it's your duty and my duty to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? You're right. My country deserves my unthinking and unquestioning support. Now there's a proud patriot. After all, if they could do us wrong, we wouldn't have elected them in the first place, right? Yes, sir. Trust in the judgment of other people to know what's best for me. It's the American way. I guess that guy wouldn't recognize irony if it bit him in the butt. If you've never seen the Enclave, how can you know anything about them? They're on the radio. They have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. They got flying robots all around, watching everything so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. Who are the Enclave, anyway? They're the American government. The Eagle. People come a weather. <laughs> the more perfect <laughs> union. People come a weather. <laughs> What's the weather on town? I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya, if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. That's his wife, actually. God bless the Enclave. Yeah, whatever. Hi. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Hmm, sure I've got plenty to say about life in the vault. Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. Hmm... Yeah, it was cramped, dark, and the food sucked. Good riddance. That's terrible! But it'll be great for a foreword. So in that sense, it's great! <laughs> I think you're gonna like it out here. And here's the armored suit. Just to make sure you don't get recycled into something else's food. That'll be good for the book. In fact, wanna help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun! What's this book you're working on? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Ah, <laughs> oh, sounds like a great idea. I can't wait to help. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, <laughs> sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Hmm, what's this about radiation? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books. But I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning, so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll get irradiated. Just be ready to fix me up when I get back. Oh, you're a peach! Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Okay. Good luck with that research. I really like her humor. She's funny. And I guess she gave us the Armored World 101 suit. It's actually better than the security armor. That's what it looks like. Scroll away a bit. It looks... Uh, doesn't look like much, but you know. I guess beggars can't be choosers. 
If you want to get irradiated, that's really simple actually. Just find some water, for instance, here. And start drinking. You get irradiated at 2 reds a second and 20 if you drink something. So, yeah. I mean, it's 18 here, see. On the lower part of the screen, 18 plus 2 equals 20, so. Mm. We are drinking Each ourselves full here, no so we glow. Shall an end to pain, and shall know Atom in his glory. I urge you, my friends, come. Yay! You now have radiation poisoning, just what I always wanted. Visit a doctor or take Red away to lower your radi radiation level. You can also protect yourself ahead of time by taking Red X, which increases your radiation resistance. Drink with me and pray. Oh, thank you. We're not glowing glory brightly enough. Atom. I give unto you these feeble bones. I present to your will this frail body. I beg of you to use me as your vessel. Guide me to your brilliance. Divide each particle and give relief to this rotten flesh. Okay, Cast that's two thirds of the way. Of this ephemeral body into new life in the forge of your glow. Atom. Come, bestow your presence on your unworthy servant. We stay true until I'm really the gonna get it in water stomach here. Until the dawn of your return to his humble world. And one more should be enough. Not so close. Bingo. You are now sick with critical radiation poisoning. Yay! Return tomorrow. Oh, there's water spraying too. Guess what happens? Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I'm about as irradiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Hmm. If I listen closely, I can hear my genes crying. So, you're experiencing delusions too. Fascinating. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Yeah, like hell. Okay. A little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Moria's experiment had an unexpected side effect. Now when you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. I guess we will never suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, but you know. I am ready to continue research on the first chapter. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book, which strikes your fancy. Hmm, getting food doesn't sound so bad. What are you looking for? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay, I'll check the super duper mart. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. So, feeling better? Let's go up here. That's the water plant. Hi, Grandpa. Uh, huh? Yeah, what is it? What can I do to help around here? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. 
I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. How many leaks are there? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. Can't you fix the pipes? I could, but I can't hunt for leaks all damn day. That rust bucket purifier would fall apart without me around to plug it up. The only break I get is when I shut the thing off for the night. And I can't look for leaks when the water isn't running. Um, I'll keep it in mind. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. Okay. Well, back to work. As you say. So, I think we saw one just over here. Here. Where was it? There. Um, how do I get there? Maybe like that. Yeah, the red X wears off. No, the mantids wear off. Did I use it? Attempt to fix it. Yay, that worked nicely. And the other one was, if I'm not totally wrong, here. Hey there. Hey there. Yes. No. Um. Yep. The pipe appears to be damaged, but the source of the leak isn't immediately clear. It'll take a master plumber to fix it. Yeah, too bad Mario isn't around. Attempt to fix it. So there's got to be a third one somewhere. We have to look for it. Water? No. I don't see no water running. Hello. Hi. Good to see you. Oh, you like me. That's nice. I see it. And we repair that one too. That should do the trick. Use me as your vessel. Guide me to your brilliance. Divide each particle and give relief to this one. <laughs> and there's Moriarty's saloon. How convenient. Yeah, what is it? The pipe's all fixed. Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. That's what Thank I was you, telling stranger. you. Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Sure, Grams. Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. Yeah, I guess I already carry a few. What do you need? Interested in buying some scrap metal? I sure am, Sonny. What have you got for me? Mm, just take all the scrap metal I have. No charge. I just want to help. Are you serious? Why? I'll be. Thank you, stranger. I can't tell you what this means to Megaton. Bye-bye. Well, back to work. So, there's Moriarty's. No. Let's take the back entrance.
You don't see me. Go away. Whoop. Ah, come on, you piece of junk. So, Every the problem is, the same damn thing. we can't hack that with a sand skill of 50, but we can pick that one. Yeah. And there's Moriarty's password. PlayStation comes in fun. Yeah, we lost karma, but I can't take that. Um, lots of caps is the password. And uh, this is our deed. Point lookout. Yeah, that's a uh, DLC. Fine. So now the we can actually moves. activate it. <laughs> Moriarty's property only. Motivational phrase of the month. When the chips are down, it means the Brahmin is empty. Residence. Jericho. Jericho's been a bad boy. I heard all about him and Jenny Stark. Tried to slip her some of the old gun barrel while she was yelling no. He's lucky the gun didn't go off or that would have given the Stark clan something to crap their pants about. He thinks he's king of the hill walking around Megaton like he does all high and mighty. He tries to pull that shit with me and the Jenny incident goes public. Leo Stahl. Never trust a junkie. That's what I've learned trying to deal with this piece of work. He wanders in here higher than a bird in flight and tries to make it with Nova. She slapped him silly after he didn't want to pay, the good girl. I almost kicked him out myself, but he staggered out of here. That guy may just be the straw I need to break Andy's back. Andy stall. The guy is a real piece of work. Opening a fucking bar in my town? What a jackass. I swear if he's up to some I swear he's up to something. I'm going to have a to think of a way to reduce his business a little. For now at least I still got my secret weapon. Noba. Best refreshment in town. Billy Creel. That new Coca Cola swilling prick. Parading his little daughter Maggie around for all to see like a proud father. Yeah, right. Found her running in the wasteland my left ass cheek. I bet old Billy fed Maggie's parents the buckshot sandwich himself and then added the little girl to his trophy collection in that shithole he calls a home. I better keep my eye on him. Doc Church. Church thinks he's a freaking badass. Everybody runs to him if they get a damn wood splinter and just laps up their caps like a drunk downing alcohol. If people only knew he used to be a medic for the slavers at Paradise Falls, They'd run his sorry ass right out of town, but I think I'll keep that little nugget tucked away for later use. Visitors, Mr. Burke, yeah, he would, was the guy who would have wanted you to uh, blow up the bomb, but he's gone now. This guy's a class A weirdo. One day I'm wiping down the bar uh, and the fucker comes from out of nowhere. He didn't, I didn't even hear the door open. He tells me he's here to wait for some sort of opportunist to come through. Whatever, as long as he pays his drinks, he can stay here until the damn bomb explodes in the center of town for all I care. James, World 101. So, out of nowhere, James came back to Megaton. Since he stayed here before, he asked me where the hell he could get a lay of the land and find out what's going on in the world. I told him about Galaxy Radio News and the Runes of DC and that guy 3 Dog. Then like that, he was gone again. I remember the first time he showed up almost 20 years ago. I never expected anyone to actually want to be able to get into a vault, but he must have had his reason must have had his reasons. He had this kid with him, some baby that wouldn't shut the fuck up. Normally I would have kicked someone like that out of my place, but he had a way with words. Then like that he tucks into Vault 101 and he's gone for almost twenty years. Nice guy I guess, but never spends enough caps. So yeah, now we know where that was. He was here and we have to follow him to Galaxy News Radio. Okay, and those are the, the tabs. Been shit Goddamn radio. Okay, so I, I guess we'll call it a video now and we will continue on the next one. So thank Work. you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.